Well, we're on a bit of a roll on the unusual caravan front at the moment, aren't we? Last time out, we had a look at the uh, stunning little uh, wheel home dash away. And this time we've got something probably even more radical. This is the uh, Boer 3X built in France. Looks pretty stunning, just even part here like this. But how it gets to this state is even more radical. Let's take a closer look. So this is where the really clever stuff happens. When you turn up on site in your six foot three inches wide caravan, just connect to the, the main, so use the inbuilt lithium ion battery, put a key into a little socket on the front of the caravan and hey presto, you've got a massively wide three pod living area. It will be the center of attention. I can guarantee you that inside, this one is a, is a bit stark, as we'll see when we go in. The UK one is going to look very different, so there is a little bit of imagination required on the part of both me and you. But it's very well built. Everything fits as it should, opens and closes sweetly, and there's a real heft to the, uh, the GRP body structure as well. Now, one of the reasons why many people find this caravan an attractive proposition in the first place is the fact that it's a, a mere six foot three inches wide before you uh, extend it. Fully laden, it weighs 1300 kilograms, which is reasonably modest and means that a wide range of tow cars will uh, suit it very well. It has a built-in hitch stabilizer and inside everything is kind of clustered near or around the axle for a good weight distribution. So there shouldn't be any problems towing this one at all. Now this is where it takes a rather big leap in imagination, I'm afraid, because this French spec version that we've been lucky enough to have a look at here in the UK bears little resemblance to what the, uh, the finished UK product will look like in terms of fixtures and fittings. For one thing, the lounge area where I'm sitting will have the much deeper seat bases and a very upmarket looking fabric. All the windows will have familiar blinds and fly screens that you'd find on what might call a normal caravan. Plenty of storage, it's very innovatively done. There's a bank of Perspex push to open cupboards and lockers right by the entrance door that have a similar door on the other side in the bedroom area, so they're accessible from either location. There's a gas bottle locker in this caravan, which again is probably not something you'd see on a UK caravan. So the importer is going to be fitting a, a, a bespoke locker on the front and in there will live uh, space for two five kilogram gas bottles and that's also where a, a Truma Combi uh, heating and hot water system uh, will live. Well, the bedroom is uh, kind of cool in a minimalist kind of way, and minimalist is uh, certainly the word, both in terms of its uh, colour scheme, i.e. white, and the amount of features therein. Storage space is limited to a couple of very modest uh, lockers at uh, floor level. And there is a main socket in there, which in UK spec, most of the main sockets on board actually will have USB uh, points as well. The, uh, the double mattress will be bigger as well in the UK version. But the cylindrical shape does mean that it would be very difficult for anyone to uh, sit up in bed if they uh, fancy a, a bit of a read last thing at, at night. That aside though, it's a, a very comfortable space. And of course, it's a, it's a genuine four berth because the seating area also uh, makes up into a proper double bed. Even as it stands, the kitchen's uh, quite nice. It's uh, attractive, easy on the eye, nicely lit, and there's a decent amount of work surface. But yet again, the UK version is going to look an awful lot different. You'll have a lot more equipment at your disposal. For example, the uh, combined sink and gas hob unit that you see here is going to be replaced by two gas hob and an electric induction hob as well, which is a nice upmarket touch, befitting of the hefty price tag. The fridge that's currently fitted will be replaced by a Dometic 70 litre compressor fridge and there's also going to be a, a Thetford duplex uh, oven and grill uh, here in place of the gas locker that of course is no longer going to exist. 
So smart as it stands, but an even better one when the, uh, the UK version has been fully fitted out. Well, the washroom is what it is. It's, uh, it's very small and very uh, basically in terms of its fixtures and fittings. There's a small tip-up sink inside which lives the pull-out attachment for a shower. Yes, you do get a shower. There's also a shower tray with a removable duck board so that it sits level with the rest of the floor. And it separates off from both the, uh, the bedroom and the, uh, the front of the caravan by a pair of nicely fitting doors. Lighting's a bit of a mixed bag, to be honest. The kitchen and the washroom are both uh, very well catered for. The ambient lighting on board is very well done and it uh, goes all the way around the cylinder and casts its glow both in the lounge and carries on through into the bedroom. However, just one reading light in the bedroom is a bit of a disappointment and the lounge could use a little bit of extra oomph as well. Granted, it's not going to be for everyone, is it? But if you want to be the centre of attention everywhere you go, and trust me, that's pretty much guaranteed, you've got 38 grand to spare for what is, after all, a very well-built handmade caravan, and which you can tow down the narrowest of lanes, then why not give this one a closer look?